Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister responsible for Whānau Order and asks, what is the significant change anticipated in the Whānau Order approach? The Honourable Tariana Tūria. Through the Whānau Order approach, is it intended to place families at the centre of flexible and innovative service provision? It will provide for a different way of working with Whānau, building on their strengths so that they can take ownership of their own needs. This new approach will see families less reliant on state agencies and, <coughs> and uh, agencies acting as a facilitator rather than a fixer. Rahui Katane. Supplementary to the Minister. How will the providers be selected? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, providers will be selected through an expressions of interest process beginning in June this year. The Whānau Order Governance Group will oversee the expressions of interest uh, process. Uh, the Honourable Parakura Haramia. Can the Minister confirm whether any new funding will be set aside for Whānau Order in the next four years, or is it just a take from Pita to give to Paula approach? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, the Honourable Tariana Turia. we have an agreement at this moment of $134 million over the next four years. Who knows what budget next year will hold? Rahui Katane. Mr Speaker, supplementary to the Minister, how will contracts be integrated through a whānau order approach? Mr Speaker, uh, there is a focus on the Ministry of Social Development contracts and health contracts at present. Those contracts will be integrated in the first instance, which will make savings and compliance uh, a really important first stage. Katrina Shanks. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, how will Whanau Ora encourage flexibility and innovation? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, uh, the greatest innovation will come from skilled practitioners who are able to go beyond crisis and intervention to build skills and strategies that will contribute to Wano empowerment and positive outcomes. Uh, this funding encourages government agencies to be responsive and flexible enough to align with Wano aspirations, and it also enables Wano ownership of solutions and actions in ways that are unique. The Honourable Annette King. As over 800 NGOs were part of the Pathways to Partnership programme, many which were to be fully funded through the Pathways to Partnership funding, which has now been diverted to Whānau Ora. How many of these providers will receive funding under Whānau Ora, and how many will have to operate with less? Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, nobody will be operating with less, and I can't... And I can't give any guarantees about who will be receiving this funding because there is an EOI process. Kelvin Davis. To the Minister. Can she explain why Whānau Order, which was once touted as an overarching programme designed to overhaul the delivery of social services to Māori with funding of a billion dollars, has morphed into a small-scale programme for all New Zealanders being run out of Te Puni Kōkiri on a budget less than that of John Key's cycleway. The Honourable Tariana Turia. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Uh, the fact of it is, is that this is not a programme and the integrated funding, which in the first instance for 20 providers will be well over $100 million that will be contributing the money that has been set aside for Wano Order is about the capability of the providers, the training for the navigators. It will be used for the research that will run alongside of it. It will be the first time that the government will have value for money. Mr Speaker, kia ora tātou katoa. Uh, <coughs> to the Minister, uh, how... how order. How, how will providers not included in the first wave of providers be supported to undertake a fantastic whānau order approach? The Honourable Tariana Turia. 
Mr Speaker, this is already happening and is really exciting. Uh, in fact, the government's whole approach is about moving towards integrated contracting, trusting communities, trusting families to know what's best. Te ororo flavel. Mr Speaker, to the Minister, what kinds of investments will be made in whānau to realise aspirations of self-reliance and self-management through the fantastic whānau water approach? The Honourable Tariana Turia. Mr Speaker, the important investment will be that there will be self-belief restored in these families that they do not need the state to be their parents. Question number two, the Honourable Annette. 